Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Finally, guys, today we have the AR-15 video, the Ruger AR-556. I've been excited to share this with you guys. As you can see, it's clear there's no magazine in there. It's clear as a whistle. Let's hop right into this video. So I wish I had a better recording setup so I could really set this down and share it with you guys. Unfortunately, I cannot. So this is, we're gonna work with what we have. But yeah, this is the Ruger AR-556, my AR-15. Now this is all totally, totally stock and basic except for this hollow sun sight. It's a hollow sun H7, -O, no, HSOB, right? Let me, let me check. HS403B, sorry about that, HS403B. That's the only thing I have on this. Everything else uh, is exactly how it came out of the box. So this thing MSRP's at about $959. Now, obviously, with prices how they are, you might see a higher, might see a lower, but that's what this one is. Now, this guy did come with three magazines, three right here. So this one is filled with uh, as you can see, those have you see that green tip right here on the tip of these, right there. These are so these are like for actual, these are like self-defense rounds. You would not want to shoot these at a steel target. Because these have steel rods in them. They would destroy a steel target. And actually, before I go on any further, I want to say at the beginning of this video, I am a beginner. Okay. This is only my second firearm video. I am a beginner. So I feel like I know enough information. I feel like I've been training myself well, doing a lot of research, a lot of studying, but I don't know everything. Okay. So I just want to throw that out there. I'm not an instructor or anything like that. I know it's probably obvious, but I just wanted you guys to know, not an instructor. So the rounds we'll be using today are these 5.56 five, rounds on these. You can kind of tell they don't have the green tip. So these are the ones that you would use at the target range. So they're just your standard 5.56. Five, now with my steel target, so I have AR-500 steel targets outside. You guys have seen them in my previous video with the Ruger 10.22. If you haven't watched that yet, go check it out after you watch this video, of course. But with these rounds, you have to stay in about 50 to 100 yards out. Otherwise, even though it's rated for 5.56, five, that steel out there, they will get dented. I wouldn't know because it happened. It happened to my steel targets and I had to switch them out. But that's no big deal. You live and you learn. So today we're going to be hanging out in the back. Now, I, like I said earlier, I have this hollow sun side on there. So I have anyone out there, any critics out there. I have trained also practice with my irons and they are just sitting in the safe. There we go. That was a little bit. There we go. So I've been trained with the irons a little bit, but obviously the side is way better. Now, I am very excited to take this out today because so this is my ammo box now there's not that much left in here this actually has a lot of uh, different ammo in there it's not filled unfortunately with um these five five six rounds so when i got this firearm a friend of a fr well my uncle's friend won it in a raffle okay and this is not the gun he was trying to win so he just put in a raffle for a bunch of guns and this is not the one he was trying to win so he won it and then it's not the one he wanted so he was just going to give it back to them and get a cash prize but instead he asked if i wanted to buy it and of course i did so i actually got this for a really good price and then it came with 500 rounds for free. So I actually don't know what brand this in this brand this um, ammo is because it just came uh, like what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like just a mixture of ammo. So they just kind of threw in 500 rounds of all different shapes and not shapes and sizes, but all different brands and everything. So I don't actually know which one we're working with today, but sorry about that. Like I said, I'm a beginner. Okay, I, didn't, I haven't bought a box yet because I got this during this craziness happening in the world and uh it's hard to find it so so just like i said in the previous video the hardest part about having guns in real life is actually you have to load them one by one in real life okay you don't get to just like in call of duty which what you know that's what um that's what we all know around here right and just it's not like in call of duty you can just hit one button okay you actually have to fill these up and these are 30 rounds each so i have to fill this one up i have to fill up the other one and then i keep so this is the one i earlier i was telling you guys that has the green tip in it i don't take this one out just because that is so the reason why i have that is just in case like there's any ever wild animals like hurting my dogs that's what that's for and so in the heat of the moment you don't want to have to be like look look how long this is taking me i only got like five or six in there right now or whatever you don't want to like have to be like oh my dogs are being attacked let me go do this you know what i'm saying you don't want to do that so that's why i just leave that one there i have two like two full or not full but i have two magazines that i can fill whenever i'm ready to go out which is what I'm going to do right now. And then we're going to head outside and shoot some. Okay. 
if you guys remember from my 1022 video you guys remember me saying that i'm a lefty shooter so that is you know i'm gonna be shooting lefty with the uh, ar as well so with handguns i can shoot right-handed actually i prefer right-handed with handguns just because so in my eyes my left eye has a really bad astigmatism I actually or yeah astigmatism i actually had an eye surgery on it done and it's still pretty bad even after having an eye surgery so that's why with handguns i shoot right-handed but i'm gonna be shooting left-handed and the reason why i mentioned that again here is because you'll see when i go outside that the cartridge shoots out on the right side it, it flies out on the right side so that's one thing that kind of sucks about being a lefty is that you have the chance of some hot brass coming at your face but it's never happened to me yet so and also like with that 1022 video the ruger that's really not an issue at all those are really small i mean they still they're still hot so if they got on you it would still burn but with these big boys i mean these are actually large i mean look at this thing like let's see if i can let's see what i can compare it to i'll compare it to like um this uh playstation 4 controller here so you guys all know the size of a playstation 4 controller so there's a size if you've never seen uh ammo in real life they oh, dropped it there we go so that's the size size comparison right there it is insanely muddy outside today so i was gonna wait to do this video on a day that was much sunnier oh it's sunny outside which is nice which is why i'm doing it today but my yard's very muddy so for those of you who don't know i actually just bought this property my wife and i did and we're still growing grass. There was a cornfield last year. So we're still growing some grass in a lot of spots. And so therefore there's a lot of muddy spots. So unfortunately, what I usually do is I'll put all this, all my, like I'll put my bag in the back of our cart, put it on the back of our mower. And uh, so I just hit the back of it right there to make sure we get these uh, rest in the back. But I always put these in, the, in a cart, took it to my mower to just drive it to the back. But I'm not able to do that today because it's so muddy that I would get it stuck. So we're gonna have to just carry all this. Thankfully I have that uh rifle bag that i was using in the 1022 video and let's go ahead head outside now for real this time all right guys we're out here at the range we have the the ruger 556 ruger air 556 my air 15 we're about 50 yards out so i don't have much more space i can go i would like to go 75 to 100 yards just because i don't want to ruin my steel targets again but at the end of the day it should be fine at five 50 yards worst case scenario just gonna have to buy more targets let's go ahead and put a few rounds down range shall we So as you guys can see, some craters were still made, unfortunately, which is not what you want to see. This uh, target is now pretty much junk because you don't really want to be shooting at a crater there. It's not supposed to have craters, but I guess 50 yards was a little bit too close. Maybe I wasn't exactly 50. I did just kind of rough it, but this target over here, I wasn't aiming at it at all. I didn't want to ruin this target. But as you can see, this is what a handgun does. It just splatters right off doesn't make any craters or this side here actually did create some craters so unfortunately unfortunately i'm gonna have to toss this one now you can still technically shoot on it but it's not safe not a good idea because a bullet can go into that crater ricochet back now being 50 yards back with the ar i shouldn't really have to worry about that however if i wanted to bring my handgun out here and i was like 10 yards let's say or a beginner was out here with 10 yards i would not want them to shoot at that unfortunately but that's the price you got to pay to make a great video. Hopefully you guys liked it. So I am quite sweaty. It's very, very humid out there. Very hot, very humid. And it had just rained yesterday, so it was muddy as well. But that's okay. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Now, I, I have to say this, guys. I, I don't want to have to say this, but I do have to say this. So my target did get destroyed today. I know that's not your fault. However, if you want to show some support and maybe help donate to me, you know, to maybe help buy me another one. It's only 50 bucks, right? So I can, I can buy another one. I'm going to buy another one. But if you just wanted to help me out, you know, if I, you think that video is well made, and you're like, wow, this guy just went above and beyond to destroy. So I knew it could potentially get destroyed. However, at 50 yards, it's not really supposed to. But once again, I just kind of like eyeballed the 50 yards. And I took another few steps back. 
Clearly, it wasn't enough, but the Ruger AR556, fantastic gun. But oh, yeah, what else? If you wanted to donate, it's in the link in the description. It'll show up during a stream, and if if you donate when it's when I'm not streaming, I'll make sure to replay it during the stream. So, thank you. Also, I'll, I'll give you a shout out. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to be that guy. Just want to throw out there, but thank you guys for watching this video. That's my AR556. Now, I have not even put a thousand rounds through that yet. Actually, it only came with 500. And some of those 500 were those green tip, which would be ones I definitely won't shoot out of target because it would actually go straight through the target because it has a steel rod in it. So I haven't had that many shots through it yet, but I still like it. Once again, the only reason why I haven't had too many shots through it is, for one, it keeps destroying my targets. That's the second one now. And so I just need to start standing farther back. That's on me. The second reason is because the ammo is so expensive and hard to find. But that'll get better with time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, guys, don't forget, hit subscribe right now. Like the video. We stream all the time. Video games, though. We stream Call of Duty. But I love making these firearm videos. This is my second one. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we have the Ruger 1022 video, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Now, I have more videos in mind. Actually, thank, shout out to you, Thedge. Thedge has been giving me a lot of ideas, and I've been brainstorming a lot of ideas. So I have a lot of firearm videos in my brain that I want to try. They're just going to require some time, and then some of them will require me buying more things, but that'll happen because this, <laughs> this, you guys just made, you guys watching the video, that last video, that 1022 video did so well. Thank you guys for that. That just made my hobby the hobby i love firearms into like just even better so thank you guys for that hope you guys have a great day god bless you all and goodbye